Good evening. My name is Young Jae Kwon, and I'm going to tell you about discrimination between Asian people. Now, let me ask you a question. While you were in Korea, have you ever experienced racism? No. Yes. Maybe not? Because most Koreans are Asian, so it is not common to experience racism here. But as you know, there are some racial problems in other countries. After the spread of the coronavirus, which came from China, discrimination and racism against Asians has increased, even leading to violence. The investigated statistics shows that people experiencing discrimination and unfairness due to people thinking that they might have the coronavirus. This graph shows that Asians experienced discrimination the most, with 14%. Now, let me tell you some of the things I experienced while traveling around different countries. The first time I experienced some sort of racism was in 2018. That was when I stayed in the United States in order to experience the American education. One day, while I was moving to my next class, three students blocked my way and started laughing at me. I tried to pass them, but they blocked me again. I asked, can I go? Then one of them said, oh yes, with mocking tone of voice. After that, I felt terrible, but it didn't help that there was only a few Asian students in my school. So I couldn't ask for help. Due to that situation, I became less confident at school. The second time was in Germany, 2019. One night, I was walking down the street with my family. When suddenly a car passed by and the driver and his friend shouted, Hey Chinese! with uh, and laughed loudly. The comment was definitely unnecessary and racist. In both these situations, who's at fault? The country's city, the specific race? None. I can tell you this with confidence. Most of people I met in America and Germany were super kind. Then, who's, who's at fault? The answer is individual person. But why would it discriminate others by, uh, by their nationality and race? Well, I thought about the reasoning behind and I found four reasons. Number one, we have our own views and opinions of other people. Most of our personality and attitude are formed when we are young. So, if someone close to us is racist, their views will influence ours. The big problem with this is that we may never know that our opinion is wrong or racist. Number two, we have similar people around us. For example, in Korea, most of people living here are Korean and use Korean language. It allows people to have similar culture, interest, and background, which are very important for this ever-growing society. However, it also creates disparities between other groups, and it allows allows us to think, think that one group is better than another. Number three, judging someone is just easy to do. Our society likes to stereotype different groups of people. Here are some examples. He wears glasses, so he must be good at studying. She wears short skirt, so she must be a thug or a player. Number four, we sometimes make channels for other people to solve our problems. When you feel angry or tired, we often look for others to blame. As you know, there are many workers from other countries living in Korea. There was a survey for foreign workers in Korea. What is the hardest thing about living in Korea? The first answer was having a conversation with 29%. And the second answer was discrimination and hard work with 19%. The next survey was about what it, what what kind of discrimination did you experience in Korea? Swearing and ridicule was the first answer. I conducted a little survey... Uh, wait. <laughs> and I, con I personally think some Koreans discriminated them because they thought they were higher socially and economically than them. I conducted a little survey in our school about, have you ever used a word that, bla uh, that blamed dis or discriminated others who had a different nationality? More than two-thirds of students answered yes, 
and I asked a few friends what kind of word they used. Most of them said they used a word that, that blamed others such as Chinese and Japanese. Many of us have bad stereotypes about them. For example, Chinese are in the bottom of class and noisy while Japanese are rude and selfish. These words are easy to hear in our, in our daily life. But yet, please remember, if there is problem between different countries, we cannot and we should not discriminate, discriminate or blame the people from the country, especially since everyone is different. Don't expect to be respected unless you respect others. This is a saying that I try to remember before I speak to someone. Then, what can we do to change the mind of people who follow the ideas of discrimination? Before we try to change others, we should start from ourselves. Let me make it clear. There are no reasons or excuses for discriminating and being racist to another. It is just wrong, socially and morally. So, I ask you guys here today to change and make a better world for everyone, starting with yourselves. We, ha we need to have proper attitude and care for one another. We should all educate ourselves on racism and discrimination. Yes, it will be hard to change someone's mind because some people make their decision and they chose not to change it. It is like a rock, but with some time, a drop of water can turn a rock into some little soft sand. Thank you.